autism spectrum disorder affects one in every 59 children. 20% of infants with an older sibling affected by autism spectrum disorder develop the disorder themselves. Early identification of symptoms leads to early intervention. So all children are different and all children with autism are different. But what we notice is that parents of young children who are showing early warning signs report some similarities. Often eye contact is a difficulty for them and sometimes uh, responding to their name when they're called can be very difficult. A lot of the children don't have any early imitation skills, for example, like waving or clapping. They usually have trouble with communication, understanding communication, following instructions, as well as using communication, like being able to express themselves verbally. Other things that you might notice in a, at a very young child might be some repetitive behaviors. So those children, for example, might be um, like repetitively spinning wheels on a car or looking at spinning objects or going around smelling objects that most kids wouldn't go around smelling. So when we see those kind of common s symptoms in children and if they persist over time, we would want them to be able to, the parents, to be able to complete a screener. And the screener would allow us to track those behaviors and see how those behaviors develop over time, and ultimately, if they do persist, then that would may, what may lead to an autism diagnosis. In this study, all young children were under 26 months of age. Their parents completed an early screener called the Parent Observation of Early Marker Scale, also known as the POEMS. The POEMS is a validated parent report early screener which monitors the behavioral development of infants at risk for autism. Using the POEMS not only helped to monitor the development of the young children, but it also identified possible behaviors to teach parents to work on with their child. So identifying early warning signs in autism is really critical for early intervention. And the research on early intervention has shown that the long-term outcomes are really good for children. There's been a lot of research on teaching parents to intervene, to be the mediators for intervention for children with autism. And more recently, there's been research starting on um, teaching parents to be the mediators for intervention for children who are at risk for autism before the diagnosis happens. In our study, after using the POEMS, direct observation, and parent input to select between three to five individualized child skills that needed improvement, parents were trained in their own home and using a hands-on approach. The teaching strategies that they learned were based from applied behavior analysis. Then the parent teaching was evaluated for its effectiveness on improving child target skills. Examples of child target skills include the child responding to their name being called, motor and vocal imitation, and pointing to make a request. This study produced significant findings that can be very important for parents in Canada and worldwide to know about who are experiencing concerning behaviors for their infant. First of all, as parent teaching skills improved, child targeted skills also improved, showing that parents' use of effective teaching strategies made a positive impact on their child's originally concerning behaviors. Second, as the child target skills improved, parents no longer rated these behaviors as concerning or less severe on repeated administration of the poems. Third, parents who participated in the study reported that they learned a great deal from the program and felt that their child greatly benefited. Most importantly, parent-led early intervention has the potential to prevent or reduce severity of autism diagnosis. So when you recognize early signs of autism, it is important to start early intervention right away.